I'm Emily. Hey, I'm Alan. This episode of T4LT is a follow-up to our podcasting episode. In this episode, we will discuss several tools that can be used for audio podcasting. Tools such as Audacity, MP3 to Tube, AudioPal, and Gabcast. Audacity is probably the easiest and most widely used program for audio recording and editing. Best of all, it's free. Audacity allows you to record your voice and edit your recordings. Download an encoder and you can save your audio files as MP3s. MP3s are then easily shared on the internet, on iTunes U, or in Angel. Audacity does not have any hosting options, so it is limited to just the recording and the editing. Audacity is a great option for recording audio-only podcasts. It is available for PC and Mac users, but Mac users might find GarageBand to be more their style. Was that some kind of subtle smack slam? Not at all. I love Final Cut when I get to use it. Uh, MP3 to Tube allows you to upload MP3 files, like those you created with Audacity, and add a background image, such as your photo. You can then place your completed project on YouTube. MP3 to Tube is nice if you want to add just a still photo and not a full video. The connection to YouTube is also an advantage. From YouTube, it's very easy to embed the resulting video in Angel. Gabcast.com allows you to record podcasts through any touchtone phone. Gabcast also hosts your podcasts on their site. The drawback to Gabcast is that it isn't free. While the hosting is provided, it will cost you 10 cents a minute to record. Also, the audio quality will be directly related to the quality of your phone. AudioPal.com allows you to record 60 seconds of audio by phone or directly on their web page, and this one is free. You can also upload MP3 audio with no size limitation. AudioPal does not have any editing capabilities. Once your AudioPal recording is complete, you will receive a link to the embed code via email. Copy and paste this code to Angel or elsewhere to publish your audio. Quality is again an issue as they will compress the audio to make it load more quickly. Audio content can quickly provide presence of an online instructor into their class. A 30-second reminder or a longer piece of feedback might just make all the difference to your students. Or how about challenging students to submit their own recordings? A practice speech, steps they use to solve an algebra problem, a poem recitation, or maybe a reading reflection. Links to the resources mentioned in this episode are available in the show notes. Thanks for watching.